First at 10 tonight, emotions are boiling over for DeSoto County Schools mother after she says her daughter was attacked by a parent during a fight this week. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shay Arthur. Now she spoke exclusively with WRAG's Jordan James, who brings us her concerns and the latest on the investigation. Shay, the mother of one of the girls involved in the fight described this as an isolated incident between two people, but says it quickly escalated after another parent decided to intervene and take matters into her own hands. Hey, hey, get your mama. This week, Shamika Stinger saw something no parent ever wants to see. I just hate that she wasn't protected in that moment. During a fight at Lake Cormitt High School, she says her 15 year old daughter ended up getting hit repeatedly by the mother of the teen she was fighting. I don't I don't whoop my kids. So to see someone really punching my daughter, to see my daughter with a swollen eye and she's there with ice on it. I'm about to get here. I, I feel bad for my daughter. Yeah. Prior to the fight, investigators say the parent was let on campus by her daughter during dismissal. She told deputies her child was allegedly being bullied. In a statement about the incident, DeSoto County Schools told WREG in part a parent got involved in an altercation with students outside of the building and says they are pursuing the maximum punishment for the parent. As a result of Wednesday's fight, four students were issued juvenile summons for simple assault and disturbance of school property. Meanwhile, Stinger says she will be waiting for everyone to be held accountable. A sorry is just not going to work for me. A sorry is not going to work for my daughter taking that pain. That's going to mess with my daughter for the rest of her life. She got beat in the face by a grown woman. Reporting in DeSoto County, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. And we will be sure to let you know if that parent is officially charged. The district also says they're reviewing their dismissal procedures to see if changes should be made.